Do you know how to create a sticky nav bar with a scrolling effect for an e-commerce website? Let's find out quickly. First, I need to create the header component. Now create the header structure. Inside it, add our logo. For that, I'm using Next.js image component. Also, add the site name inside Alt and mention the width and height. Here, I'm importing the logo from public directory. I already added a logo as a PNG file here. Let's create the nav structure. Here I'm using unordered list for the menus. Finally, import the header component inside the main page. Our header structure is ready. Let's decorate it using Telvin CSS. I'm using flex to keep all the item in a row. You can see the header but it should be above the image. For that I'm using a fixed position with top, left and right as zero. Also mention the Z index. Here we go, let's decorate the menu part. I'm using flex inside the anchor to keep icons and text side by side. Let's add the SVG icon. You can get hundreds of free SVG icons from webgraphics.com. Link in the description. The hover effect looks odd. Let's use opacity on the text. Let's add our search bar here. For that, I'm creating another component as search bar. Inside it, add the search form. I added a SVG icon on the button. I have to import the search bar inside our header. Here it is, without styling. Let's decorate the search bar. Our search bar max width will be 450px. For the input field, I'm using calculated width inside the square braces. The input width will be deducted from the button width, which is 24px. Now add the 24px on our button. Here I already set up the SVG width, height and color. Our header is ready. But when you scroll down, it looks really bad. To fix that, we can implement a scroll effect. First of all, I need a react set variable. By default, its value is false. Then create a scroll handler function. 
Inside a constant, assign the vertical scroll position from the windows dot scroll y. Next, store the boolean state by checking if the value is more than 200 or not. Inside use effect hook, first call the function to know the page current position. Then using window.addEventListener on scroll event, call the function to update the position. And return with window.removeEventListener. As per the is called straight, add the color on the background of the header. Also adding transition for smooth interaction. This component need to be rendered on the client side. For that I need to add use client at the top of the page. The color is changing perfectly. Now decrease the size of the nav and logo. Here is the final look. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more. I will see you in the next video.